Hi there and welcome back to Valley Ford Vida. Well, if you're looking for a furry friend to become a part of your family, then listen up. It's time now for our Pet of the Week segment. Take a look. Everybody, Sarah here with the Humane Society of Harlingen. I'm here with little County. She has a little bit of a different story, but I thought it'd be an important one to share. County and her mama got lost from their home about a week ago, and today they were brought in by Animal Control here to the Humane Society of Harlingen. Luckily, their owners saw their picture up and decided to come on by and pick them up. Their story is one of strength and resilience, and we're really, really happy that we get to be a part of this nice little reunion of families. So the Humane Society of Harlingen has a lot to offer. Apart from just adopting and fostering pets, we're also here as a safe haven for lost pets. If you've lost a pet and you're looking for them, make sure to check out our website, hshtx.org. You never know, your pet might be on there. Sarah's team is always looking to provide homeless cats and dogs with care and the opportunity to find their forever home or find their home again. If you'd like to adopt one of these pets, then feel free to visit their location in Harlingen, or of course, you can visit hshtx.org. While the Humane Society of Harlingen works hard to save the lives of cats and dogs, the, Re the American Red Cross works year-round to save human lives. To the American Red Cross, there are many reasons why donating blood is so important. It's the gift of life and just one pint can save three lives. Their team reminds that the public that blood cannot be simply made in a factory or manufactured somewhere. Rather, it comes from it has to come from a caring individual. Blood is needed in the world every two seconds, and about 21 million blood components are transfused here in the U.S. every year. The Red Cross team says, however, that only 37% of our country's population is actually able to donate blood and that your generous donation can help someone else in your community just as someone else's donation could possibly help you or your family one day. If you'd like more information on how you can help, then feel free to visit redcrossblood.org. Well, students at Harlingen High School South are excited to pour their passion into academics and extracurricular activities, and our team dropped by their campus to speak with one young leader about her plans for after graduation. Here is today's Student Spotlight segment. Hello, my name is Abney Solis. I'm a senior at Harlingen High School South. I'm still a little bit undecided, but I plan on either majoring in history, psychology, or international studies. I'm still looking at and exploring of what I want to do. As for colleges, I've applied out of state and in state, but if I stay in state, I'll probably go to UT Austin. I think it really did start though when I was really young. I had a lot of great teachers from Ben Milam Elementary and Boys, Club, um, Boys and Girls Club advisors. But also at home, I've always had a really great support system with my mom and my dad, my grandparents, even my uncle and Thea. And yeah, I've just had really great teachers who've always like been willing to help me do whatever I wanted to do, whether it's extracurriculars, staying after school, or taking me places. Just everyone's always been ready to lend me a hand wherever I needed one. To any students who go to school in the Rio Grande Valley, I recommend that you guys First of all, just don't be afraid to reach out to people, whether it's your teachers. Don't be afraid to take extra opportunities, you know, even if it's something you've never done. And also just, yes, be willing to study and go the extra mile to ensure that you're getting the grades you really want. So yes, guys, this is a new year. It's a new way to go, and there's a bunch of different opportunities that we could take. Um, there's a lot of things you can do, whether it's virtual volunteering or even just starting your own projects, which I know I've done. So just don't be afraid to, you know, get out of your shell and do something different this coming year. I just really want to thank a lot of my Ben Milam teachers. That school is amazing and you know they really do rake, raise great leaders even at Coakley. But some teachers that really did stand out to me were my second grade teacher Miss Gantu, Vicky my Boys and Girls Club advisor, and just even Miss Duran from Coakley Middle School. So thank you guys so much for always believing in me. Harlingen High School South will continue with their commitment to creating a safe, collaborative, and academically inspiring environment where all students can graduate and thereby become responsible citizens of society. Be sure to stick with our team for more features on local Rio Grande Valley students' success. 
All right, well, that's all of our time for now. Thanks again so much for joining us this morning, and be sure to tune in again tomorrow because we'll be breaking down celebrity birthdays from some of your favorite artists and actors. We'll also talk about 2021 summer beauty trends like eyelash extensions. Plus, we've got details on how contestants from the Rio Grande Valley will be participating in another World Axe Throwing League this year. Don't forget to follow our team on social media for exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks at what we're filming for the show. All that and so much more tomorrow on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.